Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Anaphase 1. Homologous chromosomes are separated during anaphase 1. Anaphase 2. Sister chromatids are separated during anaphase 2. Anaphase 1. The centromeres of each chromosome in the homologous pair remain untouched. Anaphase 2. Two sister chromatids are separated by splitting the centromere. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Anaphase I begins when the two chromosomes of each bivalent tetrad separate and start moving toward opposite poles of the cell as a result of the action of the spindle. Notice that in anaphase I the sister chromatids remain attached at their centromeres and move together toward the poles. Make your mark, take our lead! In meiosis, a similar process to mitosis occurs. Meiosis-specific cohesin complexes different from cohesion proteins in mitosis, form at the centromeres of the sister chromatids during the S phase. The result is that sister chromatids remain detached during anaphase I. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. The main difference between anaphase I and anaphase II is that anaphase I occurs in a diploid cell and anaphase II occurs in a haploid cell. In anaphase I, splitting of centromere do not occur whereas, in anaphase II, sister chromatids separate, splitting the centromere. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark! The centromeres separate and the sister chromatids, now individual chromosomes, move toward the opposite poles of the cell. The centromeres separate, and the two chromatids of each chromosome move to opposite poles on the spindle. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. In anaphase, cohesin proteins binding the sister chromatids together break down. Sister chromatids, now called chromosomes, are pulled toward opposite poles. In prophase, chromosomes condense and become visible. Spindle fibers emerge from the centrosomes. Nuclear envelope breaks down. Nucleolus disappears. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark! During anaphase 2, the third step of meiosis 2, the sister chromatids of each chromosome separate and move toward opposite poles. As the chromosomes are dragged along by the spindle apparatus, their arms can be seen dragging along behind so that the chromosomes form V-shapes. Make your mark, take our lead! Telophase. During telophase, the chromosomes begin to uncoil and form chromatin. This prepares the genetic material for directing the metabolic activities of the new cells. The spindle also breaks down, and new nuclear membranes nuclear envelope form. Thank you for watching! Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.